Soco Biomedical. Worldwide MISS Evolution and Clinical Goals. Any special surgery that specifically attempts to minimize tissue damage. Decreased trauma to soft tissue during spine fusions. Reduced surgical complications. Less surgical blood loss. Reduced use of post-operative narcotic pain medicines. Avoidance of fusion disease. Shorter hospital stays. Quicker return to normal activity. The Apollon design concept and application. High performance at low cost MISS system. Minimal damage to patient. Easy learning curve. Easy to use, less fatigue of hand during surgery. Three years for development by R&D and designer. Spondylolisthesis, grade one, mainly. Spinal disorders, HNP plus stenosis, 60 to 70 percent. Chronic back pain, fractures and dislocation. MISS, cage for interbody fusion plus pedicle screw fixation. Unique Apollon features. Rimmed screw head. No risk of screw head loosening. Threaded screw joint. Firm and secure fixation. Before the MIS Apollon surgery, four CIS modular cages were inserted. After the incision point is detected with the C-arm on AP view, make 1.3 centimeter transverse incisions. Because this is one level, two incision points are confirmed. Advance the VP needle to the pedicle entry point with 15 degree slant medial. Ideal for depth is a quarter in the vertebral body. Place the open end of the alignment guide to indicate the location for the second VP needle. Remove the stylet part of the VP needle and insert the guide wire into the VP needle very carefully. Once the guide wire is properly placed, remove the VP needle and leave the guide wire only. The series of four dilators for soft tissue are advanced sequentially from small to large over the guide wire down to the bony surface. This is to make a space for the following screw insertion. Remove the three inner dilators but not the outer one and the guide wire. Slide down the tapper over the guide wire and advance it up to the first quarter of the vertebra. Remove the tapper carefully to avoid any unintentional withdrawal of the guide wire. Assemble the screw holder set. Put the pedicle screw head into the outer holder to hold it. Insert the inner holder and fasten it to the immovable screw head. Insert the poly screwdriver to fix the screw body. Now advance the assembled screw set down to the first quarter and remove the guide wire. Then screw down to the three quarter point. After that, remove the poly screwdriver and the outer dilator. Assemble the holder clamp over the holder set and place the projected socket of the clamp left. The small T-wrench is for fixing the device to the pedicle screw holder set. Assemble the rod insertion set to the holder clamp and engage its socket to the clamp. It clicks when assembly is properly complete.
Put the right size rod into the hole and turn the handle to lock the rod tail. Gently agitate the rod insertion set two or three times for easy rod insertion. Drip the rod naturally to detect an incision point and cut it. Hold the insertion set with one hand and grip a swing arm with another hand. Then insert the rod into the screw head. The rod position can be confirmed by the final nut driver. Showing two marks is correct, but if one mark only, the rod is not in the screw head. Check the C-arm and complete it. Prior to the nut tightening, detach the inner holder from the outer holder using the small T-wrench. Use the nut starter to engage the nut on the screw head from the rod tail. Remove another inner holder and follow the previous step. Tighten the rod tail nut more. Use the compressor for provisional tightening if needed. Finalize the tightening another nut should be achieved secure and completed finish. Release the rod carefully and tighten both nuts one more time. Detach the screw holder clamps from the rod inserter assembly with the small T-wrench, then split them up. Remove the screw holder set from the pedicle screw. The other side is also done as well. Close small incisions and suture them. The operation is finished.